So a final strategy. Lastly, but not least, our third really good strategy for trading options is the iron condor. Now the iron condor, if we have a look at if we have a look at the excellent explanation for it, the iron condor is an option strategy that allows investors to bet on relatively stable stability of an underlying asset. Okay, so a typical traditional iron condor, we use it in a very traditional way, and we basically want a uh, stock to range. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, AAPL, in fact, which is the exam example we've always had a look at. This is actually not a bad example because it's kind of ranging at this moment in time. However, I put, personally, I have um, enhanced the, uh, the, the traditional iron condor strat strategy somewhat. Okay, I've enhanced it and I've tweaked it a little bit to, treat, to trade it in my own way in the sense that so a traditional iron condor what, what what you're doing is you want basically the price of an instrument to range okay like that and as long as it finishes in that range you're going to make money but if it goes all above it you lose money if it goes down below it you lose money the way how i have changed the strategy a little bit is that i have changed it in such a way that we have no risk on the upside so no matter how high it goes we have no risk on the upside only on the downside and only on the extreme downside. But anyway, before we go on to the iron condor strategy and how we take it, I wanted to just share with you guys, um, uh, like just buying and selling, uh, buying calls and buying puts. Okay, so in this situation, such as Neo, this is a time that I would only I would buy call only. So you know, you might ask, well, do you ever buy calls or do you ever buy puts? Yes, I do, and the only times I do that is on a stock that I believe is going to go up or very likely to go up and it's trading very low and so the probability of it going up is high and only if I give myself enough time for the trades so instead of going for a two or three week expiration right remember when we buy options time is against us so I want as much time in the options as possible so I want to go out three four five six months or so in this options trade and sometimes if it pumps quick you're out anyway quicker than that but it's good to give yourself ample time when you're buying options only and, <clears throat> and that's pretty much the only time I'll buy a call if it's a good stock and it's dropped a lot that's the time I want to buy and I want to give myself enough time and I would suggest you do that as well anyway an iron condor let's just have a look at some um, so iron, uh, the, so basically my uncentered iron condor, I call it uncentered iron condor. Um, I would trade it. So iron condor, there's usually typically four strike prices that you're selecting. And just as an example, this was one of the alerts I gave in the in my group in the Discord group uh, on uh, trading on the rut, right? So which is the Russell 2000, the small cap 2000 in the USA. Um, so these are the strike prices. Okay, so these are not precise strike prices but let me just show you if you double click on the line here you can actually just change that um, to whatever you want and that's how you would change it so you can do that with all of them right but these are roughly about right and um, so basically what we did was we took this trade and we were to take this trade what happens is that if this this goes up Russell 2000 we, we're profit it doesn't matter how high it goes even if this goes to a million we're in profit and um, if it drops we're in profit in fact, if it drops somewhere in this range, we are actually especially part uh, of our contract, right? Or especially if it's sort of near the end somewhere that, or somewhere in the middle that our, uh, before our expiration, then we actually make even more premium, collect even more premium, right? We typically, if this goes up, no matter how high it goes, we make probably around 20 to 30% range on the trade. If it goes to this range, sometimes you can even make 50% or 75% or more on the trade. It's only if it crashes below, then do we start to lose. And if that happens, you then close up the trade at a loss. And But it seldom happened because for, for these kind of instruments to crash by that much, it is very, very rare, which is why this is the way we want to trade. Um, <clears throat> so that is the trade right there. So now let me take you over to the interactive brokers. Let's say we were to take this trade uh, by interactive brokers. What you want to do is you want to type in RUT here. And so this is rut. You click on rut. You click on new window. You click on option chain. Remember, this is all very much the way how we do it. And um, now, based on that alert, it was quite. It was an alert that I probably gave a month ago. So we we don't want to pick 
like today, we want to pick somewhere out, right? Remember, typically I choose anywhere between two weeks up to two months or so uh, from exp exp expiration. That's typically what I do like most of the time, although sometimes it might be a bit more. It will never be usually less than two weeks anyway. Um, so let's just say we go for this one, June 20th, uh, ex you know, ex expire. Remember, we have to click on here, strategy builder, because when you have multiple legs or, sep or, or different strike prices, you want to put the trade in as one trade and you click on strategy builder and that pretty much does it. And then you just choose our, so you basically want to buy a 1870 put right so you go here uh, you want to buy a 1870 put so you look for your 1870 and you want to buy it here and so you just click on the buy side and then you want to sell a 1900 put so you then go on to the same bet and look for the 1900 put but you want to sell this one which is here and you and then you go to and then you go to you want to sell a 1970 call right 1970 call which is here you want to sell that call right sell is always the red one and then you want to buy a 1975 call right you want to buy that 1975 call so you go over here 1975 and you want to buy that call and that's your overall trade just make sure it's all correct if you want um, so if you want to trade two contracts and you type in two here or three or four on the quantity bet, depending on how many contracts you want to do. And from there, you choose uh, you choose GTC and then you put a limit price in here. Right. Remember, with these kind of iron condors, these um, uncentered iron condors, we are collecting a premium for it. So you want to put in minus whatever the price is. Right. So you want, let's say you're collecting seven hundred dollars, you want to put minus 7.00 right which gives us a 700 dollar premium and um, <clears throat> so if you actually have a look at the here we actually collected 705 dollars for that particular trade and so you know so that one trade you've collected 700 dollars so typically if it, you know if it goes up we make somewhere between 20 to 30 percent so we make maybe 200 dollars or so on that trade as a profit at the end of the day when you close it you know, when you close it, you have to buy it back. So you want to be buying it back for lower than this price. And if it goes into that good range and we get even more, so if it drops but not crash, then we could make, you know, anywhere between $300 to $600 for this trade. Um, and only if it crashes below it, then this trade really then goes into loss, then we may have to buy it back at $900 or $1,000 and then we take, and we take a loss for that. Um, overall so it just depends on the situation so but I, I hope you guys can see these kind of strategies whether it's put selling options whether it's credit spread or whether it's iron condor you know it, it is high probability trades right the probability of it happening is very high because we only lose remember if the price literally crashes big otherwise we make money so it's literally like literally without any exaggeration 90 percent plus win rate and when we do lose the losses are limited because with these strategies the losses are always limited it is it is impossible to blow your account you know it is super safe which is why i like trading these strategies i mean are there other strategies are there you know more strategies that we can trade with absolutely you know there's so many other ones out there the strangles straddles uh, there's just lo loads out there, um, butterflies. There's 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 all sorts of strategies out there, option strategies that you can trade. And I've traded many many of them. I've traded butterfly, strangle, straddles, and all sorts. Uh, you know, I've bought calls, I've bought this. Uh, you know, there's a lot I've traded. And however, when it comes to it, with options, I like to just buy calls at the right time, such as that new stock I showed you, or use credit spread, iron condor, or sell put options. And the reason I do these is because it's predictable, your risk is limited, and your probability of profit is really, really high. You're not guessing the market, and uh, and, and arguably, you know, iron condor and credit spreads, the benefit of these over put selling options is that you don't need as much buying power. You need, you don't need nearly as much collateral as you would with put selling options or is another strat good strategy. So and then we, we typically then become uh, the insurance companies, right? You might, you know, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, most traders don't trade this way. Trust me, in the trading game, you want to be where most traders are not. 
If you are trading the same way as where most traders are, you are going to lose money because that is why 95% plus of all retail traders in the world lose money. Why do you think most traders lose money? Is because they don't know what you're doing. So you want to be trading in a way where most people aren't. So if you, anyway, if this is seeming a bit complicated, this is the reason why I did this course, right? I want to do this course, you know, so you can watch it. And I also offer one-to-one -one private trading tuition where I can show you literally in front of your screen, like online, one-to-one, -one, how you want to, how you trade. If you want to take me up on that, by all means do so. And also I've got the Discord group whereby I pr provide ongoing alerts. So with a mixture of private as well as this course or just this course along with my trade alerts, you are going to be set in a place ready to take make profit right away and even if you take your time to try and understand this over a period of a couple of months, you will understand it. It's just human nature, right? It may seem complicated to begin with, but as you trade the stra these strategies more and more, you will understand why that is what we want to do, right? And if you have any questions, by all means, just ask me here. Message me at, via Discord. Come over to the Discord group. There's a free, you know, a lot of it's free anyway. Come over and, and ask me any questions you have. I'd be happy to answer. Happy trading.